Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So I'm going to take a look at the US markets. It's been a strong reversal on Friday as uh, the markets began to kind of uh, digest the news that the, obviously the Fed didn't raise rates on, uh, on Thursday, uh, but citing global growth concerns, that uh, kind of negative sentiment has finally spilled over uh, after the, the, the first kind of spike higher on, on, on Thursday night, which was just literally just for five minutes and then it started to sell off. Very uh, kind of negative bunch of uh, candle formations on here. Uh, a very strange one obviously to have there on the Thursday where it initially spiked up then to sell off and close down lower. Firmly bearish engulfing pattern on, uh, on on Friday and we've had a continuation of that downwards movement this morning uh, but maybe potentially cap that 21 period SMA. The histogram on the MACD is beginning to uh, to accelerate down to the downside. We're quite close to getting a negative crossover there as well. While the other technicals are relatively neutral, and many traders now are looking to uh, Chinese Chinese data now, frequently getting picked up by a lot of the uh, financial press as being almost as important now as the uh, major U.S. data. And to a certain extent, with the world's second biggest economy, it is. Um, I think there's PMI data due out of China on Wednesday, but we'll check that out when we look at the market calendar in a second. But nevertheless less quite a negative selection of candle formations to have here looking at things intraday Germany 30 is down uh, almost a percent uh, UK 100 down about 0.1 and um, I think one of the reasons why the DAX down so much is um, as Volkswagen is uh, is down as uh, there's a massive European court case going on just now uh, regarding uh, emissions data which they used to sell a lot of cars which ended up being slightly fudged which uh, could actually come with it with a multi-billion dollar fine recall of up to 500,000 vehicles and a whole host of reputational damage that you just can't quite put a price on as well so it'll be interesting to see how that pans out so that's where we are for the US 30 moving on to the UK 100 um, if we get another the third negative day today that'd be three black crows candle formation usually a continuation which in this case would be negative uh, but it looks to be that 6073 is holding as potential support we are trading below both moving averages almost got a crossover a negative crossover on the MACD with it, a histogram beginning yeah. to sell off that little bit further as well so then have a look at Japan 225 uh, which actually if I remember correctly uh, as it, I think Japan had been Maybe it is today. Um, <clears throat> there's some sort of public holiday. Um, maybe it was over in China. Um, but nevertheless, um, we are looking at a little bit of a negative move. Quite a negative candle there on Friday. Another move to the downside there today. Run between two ranges. 17,496 is the next potential support. Dollar yen currently just below one spot 20. And in fact, there's China is definitely open because uh, most of the Asian markets are down. You've got Japan down, the um, the Korean markets down, but the Shanghai Composite is open, but it's pretty flat at the moment, if, I remember, if memory serves. But um, again, global growth, growth fear is impacting a lot of these markets, um, and that's where we currently are for Japan 225. It looks a little bit top heavy right now. So looking at uh, Dolly M, um, kind of a hammer formation that we had there on Friday. Um, as people are kind of deciding where the next rate hike in the US is going to be. Is it going to be December? Is it going to be March 2016? Depends who you speak to. Um, but one spot 19 is potential support. We're currently at one spot, almost at one spot 20. Um, oscillating around that 21 period SMA. We're a good bit away from 121.87, which is the potential resistance. Other technicals are relatively neutral. And there's not a huge amount of data due out today. Uh, you've got US existing home sales at three UK time. Tuesday brings UK public finances and uh, Eurozone consumer confidence. And then it's Wednesday where you've got the next set of PMI data. And anything below 50 is a contraction. 47.5 is a forecast. Anything less than that, and to be fair, it could be a little bit less. This is actually a really good one to have a look at, uh, albeit the, the time difference isn't that great if you're a, a UK-based trader or anybody in Europe-based trader, to be honest. Um, but that can have quite a significant impact. Uh, and you've got so many market serve PMI data releases due out. Uh, on Wednesday, it promises to be uh, a little bit of extra weight to most um, major FX pairs and some of the indices as well. And then don't forget, you've got the crude oil inventories at uh, uh, 3.30 there as well. So moving on to West Texas crude, bearish engulfing pattern on Friday. We've tried to bounce this morning, uh, it's up almost a percent. Trading below 45.85, which is now acting as potential resistance. Um, if that global growth fear is very pronounced, obviously you should be seeing it a lot more on West Texas crude. 
And then if we have a look at gold, uh, gold is still benefiting from that um, negative U.S. interest rate aspect. That is, uh, well, three advancing soldiers, you got your three green candles. It's green again this morning. It's above 11.37 currently, which is uh, support slash resistance. We're trading above both moving averages, bullish crossover on the um, MACD. Other technicals relatively neutral. This could still have further legs. So you might have a little bit of potential short-term resistance at 11.37. 47, which was the tip of the other attempt to break higher. Uh, but gold fundamentals moving in the right direction, albeit it's not like aggressively moving forward considering rates have a massive question mark over them right now. So finishing up with euro dollar and GBP USD, so euro dollar again bearish engulfing pattern, that ain't so good, quite close to one spot 1474 which was a potential resistance, that's very much been in play. We're also in a 21 period SMA. One spot 11 is still a potential support, which also coincides with that 55 period SMA. Uh, other technicals are pretty neutral just now, uh, and that's currently where we stand with them. With the Shariza government in uh, Greece getting re-elected, <coughs> uh, obviously they went on with an anti-bailout mandate. Uh, then they obviously got a bailout, but um, quite a quite a charismatic leader, I guess. And uh, I think the Greek people are just wanting to um, just push on and uh, not change governments yet again. So finishing up with GBP USD, um, I had a bit of a reversal there on Friday. Um, we're trading below one spot 56. We're in the middle of two ranges, just above both moving averages. One spot 54, 24 would be next potential support. Other technicals are re relatively neutral. Um, and it, it'd be quite good if we could get some extra momentum out of GBP, but there's just not a huge amount out. Obviously you've got the public, um, you've got the public data uh, due, public finance data due on Tuesday morning at 9.30 UK time um, but it's really the PMI data releases uh, due on Wednesday that's going to add a little bit of extra weight on there. So keep your eye keep your eye on the chart form as ever, make insights part of your leg going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.